Grab your pants tightly and her hold them firmly, viewers, because it's about to get hot. I mean, <clears throat> hello everyone, me and team here, and welcome back to Let's Play EU4. Um, as you can see, we didn't have to wait long, did we? Now, okay, I've not had this game that long, nor am I the master of it, viewers, although I am chipping at it and getting a little better each day, but... One thing I have picked up in my short experience here is that when an AI with a CB on you, or your vassal, shows up on your border with a large stack that has a, a changing morale so that the morale is showing up um, in red and growing, that you are probably in for a little bit of fun. Yeah. So, I have this guy here. Hopefully, Songhai will form up with me and not get into a fight with the 12 stack, but I have a feeling that that's not going to happen, and this is going to get really iffy quickly. So let's see what I can do here. Yeah, the Mali are kind of strong, not gonna lie. I think, hang on, 10... Yeah, they actually have more than me right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Back hurts from all the carrying AI. And I heard that this um, bug was happening because you have to quit to main menu before loading a game. I have a game with Baluchi Stan going on that where I'm refusing to westernize. I'm just staying in the in the Muslim tech group, and I'm going to see if I can lay down a whooping on the computer late in the game somehow. I actually have a thread about it on the EU forums um, about planning for that, but that's not what I'm recording, so that's a different story. Alright, since we are about to see some fun here... Alright, so just buy up eight mercenaries, I guess. Okay, good. The Mali are still tech one. The combat width goes from 15 to 20 at tech two. So... That's something to bear in mind. You, if you're having a fight with 20 plus units and the uh, guy, other guy is tech 2, he has a flanking bonus on you, even if you have equal numbers, and you are going to get pounded in the open field. In that case, you really want to fight on defensive terrain, but in this case, we're, uh, we're pretty ready steady on each other. Um, is my leader any good? I don't remember. Oh yeah, he is pretty good. Okay. What's my military tradition? The better your army tradition, the better generals you have. You tend to roll. It's still randomized, but there's a positive factor on it. If you have 100% army tradition or 100 army tradition, you will consistently roll good results. So we're gonna try it. I mean, I need something. <laughs> The late game, this is a bad general, because the fire phase is more important with your infantry. The cavalry do more in the shock phase of combat. You go, you go through um, fire and shock phases in combat every few days or whatever while they're fighting. <laughs> but in the early goings, um, you know nobody can shoot anything, right? The shock phase is a little bit more important, and so. We might be going into some debt here, because, well, if I don't do it, there's a good chance I'm going to die. So, and yeah, still no governor, unfortunately, or advisors. I just can't afford them. I need to beat the Mali, and they are much stronger than me, so... <sighs> please, Songhai. Songhai, please, don't throw away your 7 stack. Yeah, I mean, the, come on. <laughs> I don't have long. 27 troops. Why? At least I um, have a limited force limit on these countries, so the computer might struggle in that regard. Ah, oh, yep. I declared war on my vassal. And they are going in, and he is not moving, so yep. Yep. <sighs> Can everyone else form up at least? I swear. Okay. And so it begins. 
Uh, this is going to be a slow one, viewers. I'm going to have to, like, take every step reasonably meticulously, or at least by my standards, anyway. What are you guys doing? I guess I could wait for him. Are they, um... Are they attached? Yes. Why don't you go pick them up? How many of these are still in queue? A lot. I need them too. Ah, come on, Songhai. Why? Why do you troll me? Shock 4 General is BS, by the way. I got really lucky there. <laughs> I would have blown more military points to get a decent general, though. It's that important right now. Okay. And let's just filter these up so I take less attrition. What are you doing? Come here! Zamfara. You going to... October 6th? October... Okay, thank you. At least we're not going... Oh! Okay, they're coming with me. No! Gooby, please! Oh, come on. Let's see if the AI um, leaves. And a BS mercenary jump him. Oh yeah, they're they're going in on that. Oh, th this is going to be over before I can get there. Oh my gosh. Why would... Why? Why would you do that? Okay. So I'm going to want to bait them here. And at least kill some stuff. <sighs> that is really frustrating. Okay. Anything attached? Nope. First of all... Um... First of all... Hello? Okay, it's still recording at least. There we go. Knew you could do it. I guess I was maybe selecting the other unit already in the other territory. I'm just gonna go for the bait. Try and bleed their manpower a little, even though they have a ton of money. They are... Yeah, they're going in on Zamfara. Hopefully they're a little too far away, and my shock can help me out here. When are they arriving? 21st of November. Okay. That's, that's gonna have to do. What? They, they're not going in on that? Come on, it's like 10 on 4. Give me a break. And I'm still taking attrition. Whatever. Man, it's getting tense. Oh, now they're gonna come in after me with a 15 stack, huh? Still going for Samphara. And it's going to be on December 30th. Alright. <laughs> At least their six stack is up there, so they're not all going to be fighting together. <laughs> Maybe I can actually win a battle, please? Please, please? <laughs> I, I'm nowhere near where I can get a forced march. What? 
They changed directions like that? Ah. What is this? What kind of terrain? There's like a 1% chance of a desert mountain. You know if I went in on that, I would get it too. In that case, you go there. Twenty ninth, nineteenth, and they're both going. Yeah, okay. This is actually pretty good because they're even further. I'm gonna even go two days now. Give them no time to react at all. No, all together now. <laughs> we need to fight together. Or at least reasonably so. Oh, you better get there. You better get there. Okay. What's he rolling with? He's got shock too. I should win this particular battle at least. I think this is the most mountainous terrain I can get. Yeah, it's 31%. So I wasn't going to luck out. What are my numbers looking like here? It's dicey, but I might be able to morale break them. We shall see. If I can get my own morale. And uh, Songhai is going to continue to do it alone, I guess. It's kind of lame. Man. I don't know. I guess I did force a retreat at least, so that's something. What? So why Songhai? Oh, can I get that five staff? While they're uh, running off? And what's my force limit looking like? Oh, I'm actually still overstacked. Still, let's bring a couple more mercenaries into this equation. Three, maybe? Man, I'm gonna be flirting with debt, but... Or, it, or maybe going into it directly. I just fought a battle and my morale's gonna be shot. I wanna recover it a little bit. The AI will, of course, recover morale and come back with a huge force that of probably mercenaries hired. Absolutely. How do I see my morale? I mean, the green bar is pretty full. And I, there's nothing there. What's the train here? Just flat. Alright, let's go. And I'm just going to stream guys, because every little bit helps. Although if I can attach the Oyo troop, that would be nice. Attach, please. There we go. Good. And what CB was on me? He probably fabricated a claim on that. So I'm going to need to resiege that to uh, mess up his war score so that I get the ticking war score and not the AI. But I will do that with, like, a junk troop. I don't need to do that with my primary stack. And that's really good. I stack wiped him. What's he at right now? Is the question. Ooh. Yeah, I did a lot of damage. That's good. That's really good. <sighs> Big step up from Stupid Songhai. Should be the title of this video. Stupid Songhai. Oh, Songhai is going to... Someone's sieging it for me. Oh, God. You know what? I can't see my morale. Let me see my morale. Nah, I don't like this. And they're not, quote-unquote, arriving on me yet, so... Yeah, we're just gonna roll with this. Am I still training mercenaries? No. Okay. 
Maybe I should be. Oh, I got nine. I got 16. <laughs> Maybe I should buy another mercenary. What am I at in terms of income? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's probably going to be the last one I can get away with for any length of time. Oh, I sued you. Oh, well, if the computer's going there, I'm going there. Especially because it's also sieging. Oh, that's Oyo. What are you doing, Oyo? You crazy. Um... As much as I would love diplomatic power, I... <laughs> I need to win right now. I will take the, um... <laughs> the money, please. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Alright, just, yeah, just ignore the Oyo Pretender Rebels. Is the siege actually progressing? Yeah. Alright. Ooh, AI is uh, training troops still. What's it looking like now? I'm stronger, but I can't like split my forces and lose them. That's surprising. Might be able to get something done with this. Ah, yes, more joining. Oh, actually? Where are you going? Oh, he's gonna go deal with the pretender rebels? No. <laughs> you don't need your government. Yes! Yes, Mally! <laughs> Fight the natives! <laughs> That's exactly what you need to do right now. What are you doing, Hasa? Okay. So, what does that put the Mali at? <laughs> they still have some substantial numbers. Cavalry... Uh, cavalry have, um... More flanking. I kind of just learned this myself, so in the next battle I'll try and describe it. But, um... You're gonna have to bear with me in terms of that, because I... I could have a better understanding myself. Actually, let's, let's siege more provinces here. Is he actually going to come in on me? No, he's going to y Yatenga. Really? You're going to Yatenga? Okay. Go to Yatenga. Beat down those natives. Although if they win, they could um, pick me off. So you know what, I'm just going to run back to be safe. And of course they're going to win, they're like 10 on 4. I wonder if I could get there in time. <laughs> Let's try it. <laughs> Why not? Oh, I scared him off. Okay. Yeah, you can retreat from battles, it took me a while to even learn how to do that. And this is a stupid mechanic, where you can run through an enemy because you're retreating. That is lame. How long is this going to take the siege? It's really lame that, that you, like, he gets a ticking war score on that. Can he get away? 25th? Yeah, apparently. Oh, but, um... Can he then get to the next province in time? And is this a mountain? May 3rd... Aw, oh, come on, man. How the heck? You can move to a province and move off it faster? That's resetting the siege timer, too, unfortunately. Yeah, now I have more war score. That's because Timbuktu is a rich province. That's why I have more war score. It hurts. The debt hurts. There we go.
And now I get to see how much the computer wants to cheat with Rebels. Easily my least favorite mechanic in the game. They're coming to Segu, are they? I guess I only have 11 there. They're not full morale yet, though. July 9th. And they're running there. Hmm. These guys look like they might come to help me. In that case, I'm gonna run back because if AI wants to engage into that, he's gonna have to wait for his other stack to move. Yeah, okay. Are they still coming for me? No, now they're moving the wool off. On uh, August 1st. And when do I get there? August 2nd. Okay, so on August 1st, I'm gonna slow it down like a lot. I'm just gonna cancel my order. I know, now it's on August 4th. That's okay. Wait, they're not coming to help? I would like to do two things here, if possible. I would like to trash the uh, Malanese stack one more time. And then uh, take a couple provinces and give them the Songhai. Whew! Come on, man. Don't let me down. That's quite a force my vassals have built up. Let's look at the force charts now. Yeah, I really need them to be competitive, though. Because look at that. The Mali have tanked their manpower, but they're back up to 1,800 troops. And I bet you they still have bank. Oh, no. Oh no, this is actually the time to strike. Okay. In that case, are they, um... How about you attach? No, they're not going to attach. Of course they're not going to do that. I want to bait. Uh, this is the time. Man, I thought I was done. <laughs> but apparently... This is not quite over yet. He's only mostly dead. <laughs> Alright, no friendly units attached. And this, Wasuju well, is their capital. I can speed it up a little because I don't see any Malanese troops. So I will camp their capital. Yeah, there we go. There's the 18 stack. And they are coming for me in Segu on September 17th. So the second I hit September 14th, I'm just going to want to turn around. It's the basic idea. Okay, and yeah, that, now we just go back. Or not. They still gonna go for Segu? I would imagine not with um, the other forces there. Well, it's showing that it's going there. Waiting patiently. Three, four, five. We're just going now. I'm going to give them a little extra time. The walls are down in that province. What do I have here? Just seven? What? What? Hmm. We're going to try to cheat a little. Yeah. Go for it, I guess. Let's see what we can do.
Oh no, there we go, 14. Yeah! We didn't get mountains, but <laughs> we wouldn't expect to in that province. Come on, get some more kills going here. Come on. Now's my chance. Bam, but chase them. Wipe that stack. Completely wipe that stack. Oh, I got prestige from a battle. And as a result, more stability. Unfortunately, retreating forces are faster than you. Yeah, but as long as you queue orders, you should be fine. Where are you going, Mr. Five Stack? Wait, does this have mountains? 26%. They're slow, low on morale, though. We gotta try it. Yeah. Although, I'm taking heavy losses now, too. Yeah, because they got a freaking mountain. Lovely. Just lovely. How come I never get to defend in a mountain at one quarter odds? <laughs> AI cheats, I swear. Screw you, Muhammad. And why is Songhai, or whoever this is... Oh no, it's like my entirety of my uh, vassal help not doing anything for me here. You're almost out of money. What are you doing? Most of the time, vassals are not this crummy, to put it mildly. If only I had forced March, I would have been able to wipe these guys, but you need, like, a full set of offensive ideas for that. Unfortunately, that depleted my morale, too, but the, um... You know what? I'm running low on money. I'm actually going to cut down my number of troops here, like so. And um, that way it'll cost me less per turn. Yeah. I don't want to, but I'm hurt, so we're going to do it. They haven't run yet? And um, I'm actually going to run away from them this time. Or should I just go to Wasuju? I think they're going to Wasuju, though, and I don't want to end that siege. Because I only have so long before the game starts cheating me with uh, rebels and crap. I More so than personal unions, more so than random events, the mechanic in this game that I hate the most is the rebellion mechanic. That I despise, viewers. Because it, the game can summon rebels out of thin air, and the problem is the numbers. You know, in Mali's case, a large number of rebels is pretty reasonable because they're a large nation, so I can kind of see it. But it's possible for reasonably small nations to functionally have nothing and then spawn in like 30 units. Like, literally a stronger force than the Malinese have had this entire war can just be made up out of thin air, if the game feels like it. That I'm not a fan of. <laughs> and I have seen wars... Won and lost on that junk. And it's it's not good times. It's interesting. You know what? Just leave back a small force and we shall siege the capital. If I siege the capital, I should get a fair amount of war score. Plus, I'm getting ticking war score. And that, what that means is that as time passes, the war score will go in my favor up to 25%. And the reason that's happening is because the Malinese do not have their war objective. They almost certainly fabricated a claim on Songhai, and they do not have any territory belonging to Songhai. And now they're kind of trapped here. Wait, where do they go? <laughs> Are they going to bum rush my capital? I would have to take peace, because if they took my capital, they would be able to, they, they would 100% me if they occupied this. And I wouldn't be able to chase them and attack them there. 
But it looks like they moved into the natives again. But yeah, if, if they so much as step on to Benin, I just negotiate for peace. I'm not going to mess around. Because that would end very badly. Actually, I can speed this up a little now because they're, um, I don't even see them. And I'm like, see, I'm triple sieging them here. I don't feel safe scattering my forces much more because if they come back here and there's like 14 guys again. Actually, do they have 14? What's their number now? Back over to military. No, they're down to nine. So yeah, they must have gone and fought the native <laughs> scared off or something. The, the AI always offers you junk for peace. And I want to do as much damage as I can here. The Melanies are such a force on this start. Speaking of... Well, not speaking of it. It's not a segue at all, really. I need to see... Okay, it's unlikely that I'm going to get a discount. And I'm pretty close. I guess I can wait a little longer. 1998, you can have... I am recording this right. I don't want to do this again. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, but in this case, I am particularly nervous. <laughs> I, I haven't won a lot of wars like this in my short uh, career. Yeah, sure, I'll take some admin power. Absolutely. Accumulate money. Well, it's the only mission I have. I might as well take it. Oh, the other thing helping me here is I have um, 56 prestige, and uh, they have negative 22 prestige. So yeah, they actually have less morale than me, and I have more morale, in addition to the good general. And I doubt they have as much military tradition. So all of those things were significant factors. Yeah, the rebels can show up in occupied territory. In uh, me winning some of those fights, even though the AI threw away its troops. Or some of the uh, computer did. Could I get 100%? I'm probably going to get rebels, so I can't. But as much um, as I can force them to give up, the better. What happened to their troops? There's there's nowhere else to go. This is one province. Are they still wandering around in native land? I don't get it. I was expecting either a run on Oyo, Benin, or like a run by into Songhai if they're not going to attack me. I don't know what the heck they did with their troops. The walls are breached here. Oh, well, I can just attack it. But do I want to do that? What's its percentage? Oh, no, that's not worth it. I almost have it. <laughs> Unless Songhai just attacks it. Oh, I lost my CB on Oyo. I'm really sad about that, too. Really sad that my vassal, I don't have a CB on him. They're going to lose their leader, though. They're going to get trashed by Pretender Rebels. <laughs> Oh well. I could fabricate a claim on the Malanese. Oh, I lost my royal marriage. Hey, you wanna have a royal marriage? <laughs> Too bad, so sad, I guess. Alright, we're running sieges here. Actually, let's start carpeting them. Because the more war score I get, the better. You go there. Ooh, I could even go for K or maybe. Alright. <laughs> go for the 100%, but if there's rebels, just forget it. Yeah, watch. He's just gonna wanna... They will concede defeat. Are you kidding me? You will concede defeat when I'm occupying more of your territory than I'm not? That That's your offer? <laughs> Screw that. <laughs> no rebels? We're going for 100%.
I, their army just it vanished. I don't know what happened. They have an army still. It's it's damaged. It's somewhere. They don't have the manpower to replenish it at the moment. But I don't know. Don't know. Oh. You know what? These these um, rebels can cheat too. They will really siege it quickly. I think that's my cue. To sue for peace. Now, they are a bit chunky for me to vassal. Yeah, 252% uh, war score. They actually have some nations that can be released, Ashanti and Jolof. I'm going to hold off on that so that those guys don't declare on a depleted Mali and screw them. So I want this, 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 this. No, I cannot. It will not let me. Can I get this? No. Um, in that case, yeah, I will take your gold. You don't need that gold. Can I get them to release somebody in addition? No. All right. Give me your trade power. I will still need two more wars after this to, um, to vassal Mali or wipe them out. Oh, that's where your stack is. Where is it going? Whatever. It, they're depleted. I'm going to need to... I, I need to get rid of those guys. Oh, no. That's not going to get rid of them, is it? I wonder if I can take them out. Hey, I got my uh, accumulate money goal. Alright, I'm almost to this. Before I forget, I'm just going to buy it. <laughs> Integrate Timbuktu. Incorporate Oyo. Achieve religious unity. That one's interesting. We are going to sell a province to the Songhai. Ooh, can I get money for it at all? Nope, they only even have 20. Because then I don't have to spend administrative power coring it, and when I annex it, my vassals will. And now... Ah, oh, man. You know what? I don't like losing prestige, but at this point, Mali's broken, and I would prefer to have my units, thank you very much. <laughs> that way I can actually gift this back, too. Okay. How long is this truce? See, the problem is, I only took two provinces off of them. Malini's force limit? Still higher than any of ours. And right now, they have almost nil for troops, no manpower. Even though it's going to cost me in st in administrative points to do this, to undo the stability hit, it is worth it to um, to, go to declare on Mali. So I'm just going to wait till my vassalings get back to their lands so that they are not exiled any longer. Actually, how much money am I losing per turn here, or per month? Not too bad. Yeah, turns. You see any turns happening here, viewers? That's what I thought. I'm going to need to send someone back to pick up Poyo again. Always gotta babysit these guys. The others will probably just come to me, though. So that's nice. At least Oyo doesn't uh, run through AI too much. Can I sell this province? I have a feeling that it's going to be too rich and that they're going to think they're overextended after one province. Yep, that's exactly what's happening. Well, now military power I care about less, so I don't mind harsh treating them. To at least reduce their overall risk. I do care about military eventually, don't get me wrong. I know, they're going through native territory, but because they're exiled, I guess they can get away with it. I guess you can go through any territory while exiled, come to think of it. Yeah, my buddies are a little bit depleted themselves. Except for Oyo. Oyo's doing decently somehow. Okay, so, <laughs> yeah, still drained in manpower, and I just took all their money in a peace deal. They're still making a lot of money, so they'll be able to train a unit or two, but um, if ever there was a time to just go for the throat, I know I'm going to take a hit for it. Breaking truce, it's going to tank. <laughs> I, I don't care if I had max stability, it's going to tank your stability to, to minimum. That's just how it is, I'm afraid. 
but um, for some reason it doesn't do that to your vassals. Like, they just, well, here, they'll honor the call. And they're still perfectly fine honoring their call. Okay, Oyo has attached. Yeah, because it was totally necessary to do that entire path. And... Mally's forces are... Okay, with my Shock 4 guy on d while defending, they they wouldn't attack me. Or if they did, they would die horribly. And with this, I can probably start the siege. I'm gonna run here. Yeah, one thing about the AI is that it knows. Um, it knows when you're targeting it from far away, it cheats like that. But um, that particular kind of cheating is a bug that really needs to be fixed because um, you can turn that against the AI. Like, you can, you, you can interrupt sieges from really far away sometimes. <laughs> Even though you're, they might have been able to siege it down before you arrive. They're like, oh no, I'm going to be attacked! And just, uh, yeah, it's not... Are you serious? Alright, go in. I'm surprised they attacked me. Well, actually, it's not going to be that easy. Yeah, they got numbers for the moment. Is my force just going to arrive in time? I might get wiped here. Lame. Yeah, I got uh, stack wiped just then. And I have a Peasant Revolt in Benin. What? Oh, they're attacking my, um, vassal. I don't want these peasants to kill me. So we're just going to accept their demands, I guess. And uh, whip out more mercenaries. At least a couple. I still have forces that will recover, and I still have some manpower, surprisingly. This is interesting. I guess because the, um... I guess because my vassal's coming in to help me, I can do something here. That was crummy, but uh, it looks like I'll get away with it. Are they going to attack again? Wait a minute, I'm on my own territory here. Oh, my military leader died. Is my air any good? He's not terrible. He's a little low on the Diplo power, which is what I really need. Like, lower than average. So, let's see if he's any good as a general. He Maybe he won't be. Maybe he'll be solid. Okay. That should help. I forgot, my military leader died. <laughs> Whoops. But yeah, the AI just kind of stood there and let me recover my morale and run my troops back, so... Um, I probably don't need this, and I probably can't afford it. How about take two here? What is the AI at now? He's actually grown since I declared. I figured, though. When are they arriving in Segu? July 21st? Oh, go now. Now, now, now. This time I have a better general than I did before, as in I have a general. Fire two, shock one. Fire one, shock two. Yeah, okay. That's more like it. The finest of commanders, my friend. And I'm gonna slow down a little bit here so I can chase them and go for the annihilation. Looks like the larger stack is going for Bambuck. The 
money. The money. Okay. <laughs> That's why it's called free trade. Yeah, because I really have a strong amount of trade right now at my low tech level. This is actually a safer place to stand. I bet it's mountains again. Yup. Why wouldn't it be? But he is nothing, so it should be fine. And yeah, they get a morale boost as they run away too. It's kind of an annoying mechanic, really. Aw, oh, come on, man. I think... I, I don't think I can get there in time, and I think I need to just finish this off. Where is it going? Okay. I'll laugh if I win that, but I probably won't, knowing how this game is. Ooh, I caught up to them. That's very handy. Hey, look, another desert mountain. And you are running to Wolof. Yeah, chase me. Can't let them escape and regroup. Just can't. Not when you're winning by that much. All the way back again, unfortunately. And yeah, annihilate this little stack too while it's there. Oh, they grew more! No! Go away! This doesn't have any defensive bonuses. Come on, I'm attacking like a, with a huge advantage here. I know I'm tanking my morale a little bit, running from battle to battle, but... It's fine. Oh my gosh. He successfully sieged that already. That's terrible. <laughs> Wasuju. Go there. Okay. I'll take two on that. What? Where are you getting three from? Buck on March 1st. What if I... What? What? No, don't split up. What are you doing? I don't have money to buy more troops. Okay. Go to Sagu. They, they seem content to go there. Still want to go there? No, you know you do not. You do not still want to go there. Can I catch them now? And... Okay, 10% mountain rate. Can I get a fight on the plains, please? Thank you. I like how this guy breaks his siege to come help. Alright, we should be okay. Hey, look! They pulled the Shock 3 General out of their butts. That's alright, though. I have one, too. What annoys me about that, I think the AI is, like, good at getting those or something. It's questionable. <laughs> the AI does cheat in some ways. I don't know if that's one of them or not. Like, it doesn't get naval attrition at all, for example. And, um... The, the developers claim they quote unquote try to stay in appropriate places, but no, they protect trade from like across the world and crap, so you do have to watch out for that. And they, uh, the natives attack them less while colonizing too, much less. Like they can just plant colonies in hostile natives and succeed a lot. Alright. I wonder if they'll run into the natives. Please run into the natives. Now they're going to Kumasi. That's fine too, I suppose. <laughs> Am I, is he going to go in on this again? Yeah. And is Songhai going to go help? No. 
So, you're going to go help. <laughs> Basically. Not putting up with that again. Oh, he gave up on that. Okay. Cancel your order, see if you can bait it. Yeah, I'm gonna bait it. September 9th. Um... I know they're going for my ally. Wait, did I just take a loan? I think I just took a loan. Oh no, I didn't somehow. Okay. They should be pretty depleted now. And they still have three troops sitting around somewhere. Okay. Why would Songhai just sit here? Relying on vassals is always a little dangerous. Is this, um, I can't even tell what terrain that's on. I really should be able to, they're my vassal. No, I'm not gonna be able to get there in time. November 4th. You know what? Here. We're just gonna go for the wall them off tactic. And bait that way. I will just siege their provinces. And now, actually. Oh, what? Can I do this with four? Hmm. If only I could see the battle. Well, let's see. No, that, he, he got wiped. Okay, well. Yeah, I think I'm taking loans now. <laughs> Always on a timer. You... are just going to chain um so I have to pick between my ruler and my heir wow this is tough viewers because if I if I don't let my heir take over and I let him die this guy might die and then I'll be in Regency and that'll limit my options for declaring on the Malanese for a long time. So even though I like my ruler a little bit better... No. We're gonna put in the... Oh, and his error is pretty good. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> Keep watching. Futa... Okay, so they're still going there. Not sure why. But I'll take it. Ah, no, the January 1st autosave. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, you, you just, you siege Kanyan there. That's, that's perfect. <laughs> the natives will be happy to see you, I am sure. What, they didn't get attacked? Aw, oh, come on. Well, I get another shot at it. Yeah, there we go. They're gonna get trashed by the natives. <laughs> Maybe not. They'll probably win that fight, but they'll be so depleted. How many loans can I take? You can take a lot of loans in this game. I don't wait. How am I getting money then? What's giving me money that I'm not in loan mode yet? Achieve religious unity. It's well, it's the only thing I have, so we're gonna go for it. And actually, it might be time to play the cheap trick card. Or no, I'm just gonna give that to Songhai in a moment. No, oh, <laughs> baby wants peace. Schnookums.
really. Okay, if that's the price I have to pay to keep that stack firmly planted in no man's land while I siege four provinces otherwise, that is the price I shall pay. Oh good, for a change I don't want you to, like, stack up with me. Go carpet them, please. Oh, whew. it's just peasants. <laughs> it's just my country about to break. It's not actually anything serious. <laughs> uh, and by a comparison to like a revolt siege from the computer, that's definitely a preferable outcome, sadly. You know what? Fine. Man, they sieged me quickly though. How long is this going to take? Jeez, man. <laughs> they, they sieged it so quickly. I know it's corn. It's not for me, but wow. Okay. So once again, we're just going to get as much war score as the game will let us. Mercenary's too good. Speaking of that, though, I might as well save some money and consolidate my forces. Oh, I guess you can't do that with, um, different troop types. Alright. Actually? What if I do that? And then just, like, run the wool off? Yeah, there we go. Force serfdom, or these things happen? I don't need legitimacy. Who cares about revolt risk? Oh, they had a troop there. They had four troops there. They're just rebuilding troops from scratch. That is interesting, because the Melanese had to have used their money to recruit troops. So how the heck do they have more troops? <laughs> I have my suspicions, actually. But... Whatever. Again, as much war score as the game will let us get. And... Oop, nope, this is now the time... Oh, I'm going to be, uh, they're coming after Segu. Oh, I can't set a leader there. You know what, you run to Segu. And you go here. Let's see if they want to fight in Wolof. No, okay. So we're just going to freeze him. Oh, he's counter sieging me. And the AI is going in. Go in. Huh. It's interesting. Nope. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Okay, so they're gonna siege Kumasi. The eye is going to try and troll me there, but we're not going to let it happen. Alright. I don't think I'll be able to 100% war score him here. Oh, it's January 1st again. You can always tell. Whoops. <laughs> oh, it's just peasants on Songhai. Lost my claim on Bonnie, so I don't I can't uh I can't pointlessly declare on them anymore. <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh, wait a minute. Huh. I don't know. Makes me nervous.
We get there on March 29th. I mean, five units isn't that many, but is this coast? It's coastal desert. You know, why don't I just attack them? Mali Patriots. Well, I guess I can't just attack them. Hmm. Alright. Unless I'm about to hit one of my sieges. Oh, I'm about to hit both of my sieges. Let's see if I can snake this a little bit. Yeah, okay. I'm just gonna give in to their demands again. So much prestige loss. No. How many guys do I have here? We'll off on May 4th. Oh, they're going on care. That's perfect. I'll be able to jump them there. No way. They're not going to be able to get away, are they? No, no, they're caught. Or they could be uh, in retreat mode or whatever that lame this is. Try and cut them off. You can't, but I can at least guess where they're going to wind up. And that might allow me to do something. Oh, they ran into the natives, didn't they? Because I totally would have predicted that. Alright, just just finish the siege. Man, I maybe I can 100% them after all. Just depends on how lucky I get with more rebellions. <laughs> 14 loans. Face palm. I think I get 131. <laughs> All in the name of glory, viewers. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to cut this part here. I will see you next time. Me and team, signing off.